How's it going? Hi, my name is Gilbert and I'm a recreational runner. That means I do not compete professionally, not even semi-professionally. And um, right now I'm sidelined because of two fractures in my left knee, one on the patella and one on the tibia. So I haven't done any running at all since February 27. That was the last time I went out and I ran. After that, I've been sidelined. In fact, I was walking for about a, a month after that, not quite a month, maybe three weeks, but I've stopped walking and stopped running and stopped everything. And because I've had to stop running because of the injury, I've decided to troubleshoot to find out what happened. And I came up with a conspiracy theory. The reason why I got injured is because I have uh, the curse of the Skechers running shoes. I'm not a superstitious guy. I don't believe in good luck. I don't believe in bad luck. When I say good luck to runners um, on the road or in a race, I'm doing it just as a courtesy, try, try, it's just a, as a means of encouraging my fellow runners. Good luck to you, I hope you do well, And but I don't believe in luck and I don't believe in coincidences. I delved into my records, my running records, and I found uh, I, I, the records that I have records on Strava and also a, a, a shoe log that records every shoe that I have used in the, in the last, uh, I would say, 10 years, but I can't find those records. But I have the records that go back to my last five trip and fall accidents. And I've discovered one thing in common with every accident that I've had. And they've all been in a sketcher made shoe. And that is devastating news to me. Shocking. I couldn't believe it when I, I, I discovered it. I had a problem with Nike shoes. I, I got injured in the Nike, Nike Hurachis. And I decided that I would never ever use Nikes again until a year and a half ago when I decided to use the Nike Pegasus. Uh, it was the 37s. And I went and ran in those Pegasus 37 and I ran in them for just about two weeks. And I ended up with an Achilles injury. And so <laughs> that, uh, sent me back to the store with those Nikes. And now I don't wear Nikes ever again. I'm afraid of touching Nikes altogether. But that was before I went and decided to invest in a, a Skechers shoe rotation. So now I will quickly, in less than one minute, present my evidence that my Nike, uh, not Nike, that my sketcher shoes are cursed. So, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to submit my evidence. I'm gonna use the log, my running log, that uh, charts my shoe use and mileage for a particular day. And also I'm gonna show using my Strava report on the day that I ran and fell to show that it was only in Skechers shoes that I tripped and fought, fell and only those shoes caused me to injure myself. Only in Skechers shoes did I live out a curse, I think. The first incident occurred 
on April 16, 2021. And that was the first time ever that I went out and ran in a Skechers shoes. The shoe was Skechers Go Fast Valor. And it occurred on a Friday at 6.06 .06 p.m. Friday evening. I was running a 5.34 miles at 9.11 minute per mile pace. And I have some notes here that I jotted, jotted down after I tripped and fell. And it says here, the left leg got caught on the rising, smashed left knee on the impact with the ground. What will it do for my recovery? Hoping and praying for a quick repair. First time hitting this little ledge in more than 20 years of running on this course. Was it the new Skechers shoes? Did I just lose focus? Was I getting used to my new body due to weight loss? Exhibit number two. And this occurred also at Butterfield Park, like the first incident. And this was on October 17, 2021. It says, I tripped by the little shed, but did not fall. I was cooling down and I was running in Skechers Go Run Razor Plus. It was nighttime, 9.09 .09 p.m. And I had covered over 200 miles in these shoes before that particular accident. Exhibit number three, an accident that occurred also at Butterfield Park on November 17, 2021. It was 6 7.46 p.m. on a Wednesday night and I was doing an easy progression run. When I fell, I tripped and fell, I hurt my right knee and now, according to the notes, I cannot bend the knee or straighten it. There are bruises on my left knee, on my elbow and hip likewise. And I was running in the Skechers Go Run Valor Fast. Exhibit number four. And this occurred on January 9, 2022. It was a Sunday evening, 5.24 p.m. I was running a 6.59 mile. It's a easy run at nine minutes, 19 second pace. And when I fell, according to my notes, only the left knee was hurt this time. And I was running in the Skechers Go Run Razor Plus at Butterfield Park. And I had done over 570 miles in the shoe. Incidentally, this would be the last time ever that I ran at Butterfield Park. I stopped running there because I thought for sure that the park was cursed. <laughs> Exhibit number five. This was an accident, a trip and fall that occurred on January 25, 2022. And it was a Tuesday evening at 5.24 p.m. That means it was already dark. I was running a 4.12 miles at 10 minutes, 19 second pace. And this occurred at the new park, that uh, my new running venue at East Vale Community Park. I tripped and fell right where the dirt trail came onto the asphalt. What I hurt was my left foot, my left knee, my left hip, my left elbow, and there were some scratches to the right knee. And a note says that I must quit all running after dark immediately. I was running in the Skechers Go Run Razor Plus again. Oh boy. And this time I'd already ran over 650 miles in that shoe. The Skechers Go Run Razor Plus uh, looks like it's becoming <laughs> the, the cursed shoe. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my last exhibit to you is a trip and fall accident that occurred, or the last one that I had that occurred on February 2, 2 2022. And it was 11 
32 p.m. just before midnight, of course, on a Wednesday evening. And I had just um, hit one mile point two nine. Uh, and it was a 12.59 minute pace. I was just warming up on city streets in Corona, where Corona meets Norco. It's on the border. It was at the corner of River Road and Curridon by the Norco Village Shopping Center. And the shoe was Skechers Go Run Razor Plus again. And I had uh, already ran over 695 miles in the shoe. What happened is I hurt the left foot, the left hip, the left knee, the left hamstring, and I hurt my feelings. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Five trip and fall incidents and one tripping incident, all in Skechers shoes. So I ask you, what is your verdict? Are these shoes guilty of being cursed? Guilty or not guilty? In conclusion, I guess that there are two shoe brands that I will not be running in again anytime soon. The Nike shoes and Skechers shoes. Are they cursed? I don't know. But for self-preservation and so that I can continue to run in the future, I will avoid these shoes at all. I want to run forever, but these shoes are determined to sabotage that plan. And so I have to fight it. I have to do my best to avoid tripping and falling ever again.